What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We're all about fitness and martial arts for, uh, for older dudes like myself. In this video, we're gonna talk about why I switch from senior division to master's division in judo. When I started, I started at the age of 36. And I'm 41 now, so it's been about uh, four or five years approximately. When I started, obviously I was white belt, and then you had to work your way up through the ranks. My coach, they, at that time, they told me, well, just compete with, uh, with the seniors, right? The guys who are, you know, um, over adults, essentially. Towards the end, when I got towards my blue belt, because once I got my brown belt, that's when I switched over to uh, competing uh, in the master's division. Now, up until then, I was competing all throughout uh, the color belts. I competed with the seniors. And the reason for that was because, well, I'm, I'm in relatively good shape for my age. Pretty good shape, really. So my coach, they saw that and they, they told me, well, compete with the guys, you know, like the, the younger kids. There's more people, so you get more fights, you get more experience. And also the progression is the same in the sense that like guys who are still in their colored belts and, and uh, adults and competing in judo, we all started about the same time. If I'm yellow and I'm competing against another yellow, we're at the same progression level. So, you know, he might have been uh, yellow for, let's say a year, you know, six months or whatever, and same for me. So that was, that's what makes it fair, even though I'm older than them. Yellow to orange, and then from orange to green, then green to blue. I competed that whole time with uh, 21 year olds, you know, well, 21 year olds, you know, 20 year olds. The first two seasons I sucked and then when I finally got the hang of it, I explained this in another video, but that's when I started winning and all that. The last competition that I did in blue belt, that's when I won first place. So I was doing very well against uh, people who were younger than me, but who had the same level of progression. Once I got my brown belt, I tried that again. I competed, I did one competition in the seniors division and man, I had a really hard time. I didn't, I didn't get on the podium for that competition. I did two uh, fights and yeah, I got um, the first one, I got, I got taken out pretty quick. And then the second one, I did much, much better. And then from there, when my coaches saw that, they told me it's time to go up to masters. There's no point in you competing with guys who have been doing this so much longer than you. But a lot of these guys are trying out for the national team or they're already on the national team. If they started at, let's say, five years old or 10 years old or whatnot, they have about 10, 15 years of experience in judo overall, whereas me, I have four years up to that point, right? So I'm still like four or five years not. So what they wanted to do is uh, they wanted to have me, uh, keep me having fun, leveling the playing field. Masters division, the guys are older, so they're my age. But the thing is, I have an advantage because I'm usually, I'm fitter than most guys who are like 41 years old, but they do have more experience with me, but I could still compensate because, you know, I'm in good shape and all that. So, and at the same time, the guys, I mean, they're not as, um, it's more relaxed. My chances of winning essentially are better and my, my progression level, my evolution as a judoka would be smoother too. It would be less traumatic. <laughs> um, yeah, now it's COVID, right? So there's nowhere to train. But at the new club where I'm training now, I'm with my, with my new coach, like we haven't discussed that at all yet, but I think he might come to the same conclusion, but we'll see. I mean, for, for the most part, I think it's, it's about what my coach is gonna see in me in terms of my training, how, how I'm evolving, uh, how, how my level is and all that. And then from there, uh, you know, he'll, he'll let me know where I should be, but I think that he might come to the same conclusion uh, as uh, my other coaches. Not to say that I might not try to dabble in both, but I think master's division is where I should be. We'll see what happens. Like uh, for now, we're, we're back in lockdown, so <laughs> there is no freaking judo at this point. But uh, you know, I'm still keeping in shape, training a lot, obviously not in judo. Working out, running, doing all the cardio and doing all that, working on some pretty interesting things I wanna to talk to you guys about. Uh, regarding posture and uh, the nervous system and all that. I'm not scared of competing with uh, the guys at, uh, uh, in the senior division. You have a coach, well, you have to trust them and you have to believe in them. And of course, what they tell you goes because they have more experience, more knowledge. I mean, my coach is, uh, his name is Nick Triton. So two-time Olympian, right, uh, for, for, for Canada. So I'm just gonna go with what he tells me to do. I'll go where I can win. And of course, I'll go where I can evolve. So that's it guys for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.
Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you can follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.